This is your country. This is your country on Twitter, a minute by minute, color coded, pulsating chronicle of the country's mood based on words used in tweets, those quick electronic messages. Red states are mad, the tan and green states are happy. We feel pretty good early in the day, get mad later, and happy again before bedtime. How many tweets did you study? About 300 million. 300 million? That's actually a very small number. Oh. Lehman programmed his computers to look for hundreds of happy words or sad words in tweets. Words like diamond, love, and paradise were considered happy. Funeral, rape, and suicide, not so happy. We use the happiest words on Sundays and get sadder as the week rolls on. Tell me, where, where are we the happiest? Where are we the saddest? So I can tell you that the happiest state、uh, consistently is Hawaii. Well, that's、uh, not, you don't need 300 million tweets to tell you that. In fact, most of the Western U.S. is apparently happy. A little sun might do that to you. <laughs> little sun walking on the beach. I'm in New York. How, how happy should I be? I would say the whole East Coast seems pretty grumpy. You're breaking my heart. I, I, mean, I was in a pretty good mood until you told me that. <laughs> yeah, but that's how it goes. Truth is, in New York, it wasn't hard to find grumpy people. If you get in the way of what we want, we let you know it. So, is this science? Can you really gauge the mood of a nation by tweets? Maybe not yet, but Lehman hopes soon we will. Yeah, I think potentially this, this could be a very valuable tool. Encouraging news on the most discouraging day. According to Lehman's calculations, the grumpiest time of the week is right now, Thursday evening. So, how do you feel? I'm fine. I thought. Richard Schlesinger, CBS News, New York.